Hey, welcome back, Silver Ball fans. Welcome back to Silver Ball Channel. Uh, just want to talk about New Zealand's ticking time bomb. Um, just recently, uh, Mount uh, Tongariro has erupted in New Zealand <coughs> and um, hasn't erupted for about a hundred years. Um, I'll zoom in if I can to the area we're talking about. That's Mount Ruapehu, there's Narahoe, and there's Tongariro. There's three volcanoes there, basically one after another. Now I've actually seen Ruapehu go up, that was in, uh, I think, 1995, 96 when it erupted. And uh, I was all the way down here in Fielding and could see this huge cloud going up in the air. And knew instantly that it wasn't... Um, normal one that it was a, a volcano erupting. I went up to a uh, hill where I knew on a good clear day I could have a view of the mountain. Sure enough you could see the, um, the steam and ash rising out of the mountain. Um, quite spectacular and um, you'd eventually have ash falling on your car just to thin layer. You could rub your fingers over it and there would be ash on your hand. But um, if these blow up, you know, they're pretty much only going to drop over the desert road and that. It's called desert road because all through here, due to volcanic ash and that, a lot of it's pretty scrubby, desert sort of country. Um, it's on a high plateau, it doesn't get uh, normal rain like other, as, as much rain as other places because it's so cold. Um, and... Uh, a lot of this land was missing some essential trace elements, which is why it didn't become really good dairy land, like you know the Waikato or that. Um, however, they planted a lot of forests here, and you have some of the world's largest man-made plantations of uh, pine trees there, which are nice little money earner nowadays. <coughs> um, but the thing that uh, really uh, disturbs me about this. Um, over a year ago, I remember having a dream one time. Uh, I saw um, the North Island of uh, New Zealand and the whole centre just disappeared. And all that was left was some tiny little islands of what was left of the North Island because the real ticking time bomb in New Zealand isn't these little volcanoes here. There's another one over there, Mount Egmont, I've climbed before, or Mount Taranaki, whatever you want to call it. There's a whole bunch of volcanoes in Auckland as well. But the big one is this lake right here. See Lake Taupo there? Quite a big lake. It takes you a, a good half an hour or more to drive around it. Um, very beautiful lake. But that's actually our caldera of a volcano. I reckon when it erupted, it was one of the largest eruptions on Earth. Um, and um, if that goes up, you can say goodbye to uh, most of New Zealand. Uh, historically, there's a huge ash layer around. And this is why I, I, I don't believe New Zealand was the last settled landmass. Um, as, as it was never settled when you've got Australia settled supposedly 50,000 years ago America and lots of Pacific Islands settled thousands of years ago and New Zealand supposedly only settled approximately um, 700 AD what you know it's pretty obvious is there was this massive eruption that wiped out everyone living there and um, has killed off most signs of there been any occupation there. Um, <coughs> I mean, it's a bit different with Pompeii. You have sort of a, a, a semi-advanced civilization, and the Romans, and you know their tiles and all the sort of other stuff remain, frescoes and stuff like that. But if you've just got people living in wood, um, it, it's pretty much going to be destroyed in a um, hot ash cloud, um, or buried under pumice and lots of other things. So if Lake Taupo does blow up, 
Um, it's going to cause uh, perhaps something we've never seen in our lifetime. And my worrying thing is you've had a volcanic eruption here. You've now got one hitting north in Tongariro. And you just don't want it to keep hitting north. Like, if there's something happening under the earth there that's slowly moving north, you don't want it to hit Lake Taupo because uh, that's just not your normal volcano. Um, these guys can erupt. You know, it's going to annoy the uh, air traffic and stuff like that. Um, but if that one erupts, it's a whole different ball game. Um, here's Mount Egmont. It's the one, uh, the mountain they pretended to be Mount uh, Fuji in um, The Last Samurai. That was actually Mount Egmont. Very beautiful, uh, traditional cone shaped sort of volcano. Not sure when it's last erupted, but I've been up on top of that. There's uh, a bit of ice on top all year round. Um, Ruapay is probably even easier to get to the top of if you want because there's ski lifts most of the way up. And there's a hot lake on top of that, um, which people uh, go swimming in now and again. Um, the only problem with Ruapau is now and again it has what's called Laha, which is um, when that lake overflows and hot water and mud come crashing down. Um, in 1953 it caused a disaster where it wiped out a rail bridge and um, a train crashed. Um, I think that's a Taniwa disaster. Uh, happened either Christmas Day or the day before Christmas Day, and uh, over 100 people died in that one. Um, so, you know, these uh, volcanoes aren't, um, aren't to be treated with disrespect. Um, this is used as the North Island's main ski ground because obviously it's been high, it collects a lot of snow. Um, it's just a, it's a beautiful place to visit, but um, I wouldn't visit there in the middle of an eruption. Uh, Narahoe, it's the next one up here that that's erupts pretty regularly actually, Mount Narahoe. Um, I remember pictures in my parents' photo albums of that going up in the 50s. So, um, in Mount Tongariro, it's the smallest of them all. Um, Narahoe is quite a, you know, very uh, pronounced cone. Uh, Tongariro is sort of more open. Um, there's hot springs and stuff all around here. People go hiking and swimming in them. Um, but <coughs> obviously not during the middle of an eruption. Um, you've got... Rotorua over this way where there's um, lots of geothermal activity but the uh, big one again is uh, Lake Taupo and this is a caldera of a massive volcano and uh, that is New Zealand's ticking time bomb and even the geologists there will tell you that that um, if that one goes, uh, or that one is looking like it should go, they need to evacuate most of North Island. Uh, there's Talpo and there's, and there's a short drive up the road to um, Rotorua. Uh, that's Rotorua, just up there. And uh, there was another volcano that erupted in 1886, um, Tararira, and it isn't even a, you know, that's it there. It isn't even a uh, big volcano by um, some of the other standards, but it um, wiped out a buried village all the way over here, killed off a bunch of Marys in 1886, um, and uh, destroyed the pink and white terraces, which were around here. Um, this lake wasn't there at the time it is now. So, it, you know, this one eruption over 100 years ago, uh, change the landscape in a big way um, and volcanoes can do that all right so that's New Zealand's ticking time bomb let's hope my uh, dream does not come true because what I <laughs> dreamed was there were little tiny islands you know sort of left around a ring of islands left around the salt center was gone um, <coughs> 
goodbye to North Island. Um, and that's the problem there, uh, Lake Taupo. For those of you who don't know your geography and do not know where New Zealand is, um, it is, there's Australia, there's New Zealand, China, the US, South America, it's in the South Pacific, okay? Hope you learned something today and uh, keep stacking.